In the everyday world, most of us like to believe that stuff exists. In other words, objective reality is an actual thing, and our choices about whether or how to perceive it shouldn't change the truth. But quantum physics says that actual reality isn't so simple. How so? Let's say you have a flashlight and you point it at a wall with two open doors. The light will pass through both doors at the same time. And if you do this in exactly the right way, you'll see a pattern form on the far wall. It's caused by light waves from your flashlight interfering with themselves as they pass through the doors. And you'll get the same pattern even if you shrink everything down so your flashlight only puts out one photon at a time. Now it's perfectly okay for a wave to pass through two doors at once. But just to be sure, let's say you put a particle detector at one of the doors. When you do this, you find that the photon actually does pass through one door or the other. But as soon as you catch it in the act, that lovely interference pattern that you had before goes away. Somehow the photon is no longer a wave, but acts more like a particle instead. And all you did was try to measure it. Now you might think this is just some weird property of light, but the same experiment also works for particles of matter, like electrons and protons, even large molecules like buckyballs. So how does a proton or electron or buckyball know whether it's supposed to be a particle or a wave? Its true nature shouldn't depend on how we choose to look at it, it should be one or the other, right? Well let's go back to the experiment, but this time let's just have one device that can either detect a particle or a wave. After the photon passes through the doors, we can just ask the device whether it went through one door or both. And we can't have any effect on the photon's choice because we're simply observing it after the fact. It either went through one door or both, right? Yeah, not so much. In real actual experiments, if you set the device to look for a particle, you'll find that the photon behaved as a particle passing through one door or the other. If you instead set the device to look for a wave, you'll find that the photon passed through both doors like a wave. This basically means that you, the observer, can decide whether the photon goes through one door or both after it already went through. That'd be like flying from LA to San Francisco, then once you land, you find out you actually drove. This experiment has been repeated and repeated in all sorts of different ways, and the results are always the same. Look for a wave, and you see a wave. Look for a particle, and you see a particle. Look for something halfway between a wave and a particle, and you see something halfway between a wave and a particle. In other words, as soon as you try to figure out what the true reality of light or matter actually is, you find that the answer depends on you. That doesn't mean that objective reality can't exist, but it may actually be influenced by what we choose to see.